Hey guys! Today is World Book Day. We would like to present our new series, This Day That Year, and dedicate it to our mother, Devi Shobha, an engineer turned writer, who runs the funnest educative space for parents, Kids Kinta. I'm Ananya. I'm Ameya. And I'm Ramanan. From the first proof of bacteria to the first tweet, the calendar brims with discoveries and inventions that change the world. This series will be a showcase of mind-expanding anniversaries of inventions and discoveries for each day of the year. While skimming through this book, Math Science from Wired, the girls came up with an interesting idea to present facts, discoveries and inventions that happened today several years back in a video series. Ameya would read some interesting nuggets from the Math Science book and Ananya will do a follow-up with some interesting add-ons that she discovered from the web. Back to history. Presenting our first in the series on what happened on April 23rd years ago, 1940. Batteries included and they don't leak. And the batteries were included in flashlights. Engineer Herman Anthony of Rayovac receives a patent for the leak-proof battery. His invention is about to go to war. What? what kind war? of war? Well, Wisconsin businessman first founded the company in 1906 as the French Battery Company. Mm -hmm. And by the 1920s, it started making Rayo light flashlights and Rayo spark batteries for your car spark plug ignition. It changed its name to Rayo back in 1934. When the United States entered the World War II, batteries were rationed to civilians. And like many other companies, Rayo Vac also turned its entire production towards the military. Mm -hmm. The troops also used the sealed in steel batteries to not just power flashlights but also their walkie talkies and bazookas. Wow, interesting. The firm also okay. produced L shaped batteries so uh, that they could hook onto their belts so that they can have the light shine forward. Fun fact when the war ended, the civilian demand grew so much that Rayovac sold 100 million of those to the civilians in 1946. Million? That's right, 100 million of those batteries. That's a lot. Also, April 23rd, 1984, AIDS virus disclosed, vaccine promised. Also, 1940, February 5th, birth of H.R. Geiger cyborg surrealist artist, February 27th, Carbon-14 Discover Foundation of Radio Dating. Oh, April that's that's an interesting discovery. Carbon-14 was discovered and we now know how to date things which are billions of years old. And how to calculate their age. April 20th, Zwarikin demonstrates electron microscope. Electron microscope is also an important discovery in the history of chemistry where we could do a lot of research on the particles which are subatomic. That was great, Amiya. This is Ananya with the follow-ons. Here you go. In 1971, Harold Whitcombs and Gerald Harding shelled 12,600 eggs in a seven-hour ship. Both men were blind. Wow. By being blind, they shelled so many of those eggs? In 1985, Coca-Cola changed its formula and released a new Coke. But the response was overwhelmingly negative. And so they went back to square one. Oh, that's an interesting thing. The drink that the world prefers, Coca-Cola, changed its formula in 1985. And uh, it was shelved because of not so popular demand. Uh, the name was changed to Classic and uh, it was marketed. Uh, till about 2002, the new formula was in the shelves. And then gradually it was removed. In 2009, it was completely stopped. The name Classic did continue for quite some time and then what we have today is the old Coca-Cola formula and the new Coke is the new formula that they introduced in 1985. Fun fact, this was introduced because people started liking Pepsi's taste much better than Coca-Cola. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. It also happens to be a bunch of random days. Movie theater day, macaron day, teach your children to save day, talk like Shakespeare day, National Cherry Cheesecake Day, National Picnic Day. It also happens to be the birthday of Guglielmo Marconi, who was born on the 23rd of April, 
1874. It's because of him that you're able to watch this video today. How was that? Well, he was an Italian inventor and electrical engineer who was instrumental in long distance radio communication. That's nice. So, this video is made possible because of Guglielmo Marconi. Is that what you're saying? That's an interesting thing. Thank you, girls. Let's keep this going every single day. Viewers, you know what to do if you like this video. Support us by logging on to buymeacoffee.com slash dadwithdaughters. Ciao now!